Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with the WWE Royal Rumble Micro Maulers Bucket of Superstars. I stumbled across this on Amazon for just $4, so I was like, yeah, why not? Curiously, even though the bucket is branded Royal Rumble, it only includes 27 superstar figures, an odd number when you consider that the Royal Rumble is infamously a 30-man match. So what's up with that? On the front of the bucket, we see pictured a whole host of current WWE superstars, then the sides of the bucket pictures the actual figures, and it seems they're also kicking it old school much to my delight with the likes of Macho Man, Randy Savage, and Sergeant Slaughter. So should prove to be a good mix of old and new, but let's not linger on the pictures of the figures on the packaging as let's open this bucket up. Now a cool aspect of the bucket is that the lid of it becomes a ring for the figurines then to battle it out in. Let me now tip those wrestlers out of the bucket so we can all take a better look at them. And so our first entrant into the Royal Rumble match and striking his best Jesus on a cross pose, it's The Undertaker. Now randomly picking from the pile and joining The Undertaker is, or oh, the sledgehammer's a bit of a giveaway isn't it? It's Peter Gabriel, I mean Triple H. Peter Gabriel sang a song called Sledgehammer which is why I made that joke. Kids, ask your parents. Or it's a pretty old song, so maybe ask your grandparents. Then we have, I don't know, I may struggle to identify some of these. The uniform color and the scale not allowing that much detail might leave me scratching my head as I am here. Ooh, hang on a second. I think, yeah, that's Randy Orton. I didn't recognize him in a standing up pose. Clearly supposed to be down on the mat, so I think they'd have been better off not putting him on the display stand. Then much more unquestionably here lamp in hand is Bray Wyatt. And randomly joining him from the pile it's Seamus. So I have some grubby marks on him. He's supposed to be delivering his bro kick but not able to stand balanced and falling down. As such I don't much fancy his chances in the rumble. Now proving their strength in numbers and joining Bray and the Wyatt family it's Eric Rowan. I think this might be my favorite figurine today. I like the sheep mask. But let's slide him to join the other entrance and picking from the pile, it's... Jay Uso or Jimmy Uso? I'm sure they won't have one without the other, so let's see if I can reunite Jay or Jimmy with Jay or Jimmy. There they both are, posed, I assume, delivering their entrance chant. Next up from our depleting pile, it's... Oh, Luke Harper. <laughs> Took me a second to recognize him, but let's reunite him with his fellow Wyatt family members, Eric Rowan and Bray Wyatt. And it probably makes sense to put Bray as the leader of the Wyatt family in the middle. Have a hunch this set was made before Braun Strowman was introduced into the family, so don't expect to see him popping up. And here, caught frozen in the midst of a yes chant, it's Daniel Bryan, who's been injured forever. Is he well again? Will he be a surprise entrant in this year's Royal Rumble? Who knows? Ooh, and now the injury list continues with ba 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 John Cena. And now, oh, it's the Big Show, who's posed as if he's pulling an imaginary truck horn. <coughs> Here, fresh from being pushed to the moon, it's Roman Reigns. And then also, formerly of The Shield, that's Dean Ambrose. And I assume Seth Rollins is back here in this pile somewhere, but this one is... Oh, I can tell by the way he's wearing the waistband of his trunks halfway between his navel and nipples, it's Rusev. Now that lone orange figurine in the back there is the John Cena that I flicked away, which means we're now moving on to our blue entrance. And I have a hunch that these blue ones are going to be our classic superstars. Because we haven't had any yet and all these orange ones have been current superstars. And this is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Let's see who's going to be joining the rattlesnake. It's... Ooh, hang on. That's Kane, the big blue monster. He's a current superstar, but then he's kind of classic too. He's been around forever. Then definitively classic, oh, <coughs> excuse me, I wasn't ready for that. But giving the thumbs up and two by four slung over shoulder, it is of course Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And he is joined by another great American, unless you focus on that period where he was an Iraqi sympathizer, burnt the American flag and threw fire into Hulk Hogan's face. Attention, you puke. It's Sergeant Slaughter. 
Well, he's posed pointy fingered, ready to poke that into somebody's chest. Let's draw from the pile to see just who he's going to be poking into the chest. And it's Brett the Hitman Hart. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there'll ever be. Maybe Slaughter's taking exception to that. Then motioning for his opponent to just bring it, it's The Rock. Nice, here's a big sentimental favourite of mine and everybody's favourite former crack addict brandishing his python Damien. Of course it's Jake the Snake Roberts. And he's being joined by, oh yeah, macho man Randy Savage. Sure are getting down to our last few entrants into the rumble and this one is from parts unknown, it's the ultimate warrior. Looks a bit odd because those tassels hanging down from his arms are looking a bit like flaps of skin. Bonsai! It's Yokozuna and look how fat he looks. I love it. Check out those butt cheeks. Heavens to Betsy. Now our last couple went a bit wayward when I tipped them out of the bucket behind the ring here, but it's... Hang on, I'm getting deja vu. Jake the Snake Roberts? We've already had him. Yep, there he is. I've got myself a Jake the Snake Roberts tag team. Weird. And that leaves us down to our final entrant into the Royal Rumble in the 30th, well, 27th position, because there's only 27 of them. It's... I don't know. Let me refer to the bucket. Is that Ric Flair? Yeah, it must be. And as I got a double of Jake the Snake Roberts, I assume I am missing a figurine. And yep, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Oh, that sucks. And finally, as every entrant makes their way to the ring in what shockingly is proving to be the first Royal Rumble ever without a single elimination before everybody enters, I will now predict just which superstar will win this year's Royal Rumble and I'll do it in the most scientific way possible. And the winner of the Royal Rumble match and new WWE Heavyweight Champion and no doubt staring at the WrestleMania sign for the next eight episodes of Raw, it's Luke Harper? Well, needless to say, I won't be putting money on that. And I'm now just realizing that they do in fact have their names written on the bottom, which had I realized earlier would have saved me a lot of head scratching. Anyway, let me know just who you think will be this year's winner of the Royal Rumble and click this video if you miss my review of Hey Bailey! Hoo, ha! And I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.